Now guys, welcome back to get just one, two, three. Thanks for checking out this video. Thanks for checking out the channel. Okay, guys, we're going to do a little unboxing and I'll give you some of the actual features of this JBL Harman Link View. Got this at a very great price. So if you're interested in this product or want to know more about the specs of the actual items, click on the link below. We have some more information there. Now you could also join us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. We have a lot of great products there, discount codes and so forth. So you guys could look at into um, again. A lot of those products uh, are limited quantities and also the discount codes are only for a certain amount of time. So check us, especially on Twitter, uh, follow, us, follow us there so you'll be able to get those special prices and uh, take advantage of those products. Now, again, let's go ahead and unbox this JBL Harman Link View and let's get started with this video. Hit the music. <laughs> comes in the actual package you really don't get a lot of stuff you get just the actual power cord you get some reading materials which is right there and you get the actual device the JBL link view which is right here now overall I do like it it's not too big it's not too bulky it's pretty much the right size especially if you're gonna keep it uh, maybe in your bedroom living room dining room wherever you plan on putting this actual device it's not that big and it is uh, for me in my opinion just the right size of a device to be uh, place in a location that is not going to take too much space now the screen itself it is an eight inch screen and uh, the resolutions of this is 1280 by 800 again it is an eight inch display it is water resistant so if you're planning on keeping this probably in your kitchen uh, right next to the sink it uh, should be uh, at least resistant to some of the splashes from there now let's go over some of the actual buttons that the de device has. Now in regards to some of the buttons it has, it has the following. It has the on and off switch here for the camera. So you could turn off the camera uh, if you want to keep it off. You could do that with this button. Volume rocker is right here. At, right in the middle it has the on and off switch also for the speaker. So if you want to disable the um, option to talk to Google you could turn this off as well right in the middle it has the JBL logo with the actual speaker while at the bottom it has the power port followed by the service port which is right here again very simple design really there's nothing um, that is uh, too complicated in regards to the buttons that it has it has simple buttons but mostly this device is going to be used via the voice command on the, your app so we're gonna get started with the app and we're gonna link this device and see how it works and test a couple of the options that it has to actually set up the device all you need to do is download Google assistant and just follow some of the instructions that you see there In regards to the actual device it is a voice activated device there is no virtual keyboard so you can start typing Everything is voice command or you could literally touch and then scroll and use the different options it has for uh, Google News and so forth. Now, it's not compatible, unfortunately, with Netflix, so you cannot use this device with Netflix as of right now. Hopefully, there will be some sort of update that would allow that. But it is compatible with other devices, other services like Hulu, YouTube, YouTube Music, and many more. And of course, if you have your favorite music services like Pandora, Spotify, Google Play, and many others, uh, you could definitely use this device with it. Now, cannot be paired with multiple speakers, but the internal speaker on this device is pretty much sufficient and is very clear, very nice quality, especially if you're going to be using it in a room, a uh, standard room, a 12 by 12, even a little bit larger room, it's perfect. Sound quality on this JBL speaker is definitely something that um, is not lacking. So definitely like that uh, on the speaker itself. Now, when it comes to home controls, you do have access to uh, link this to your home um, there's different options you could do within the actual device you could link different rooms uh, you could control your lights temperature and uh, many other options once you link this to your google uh, services and your home services depending on what uh, uh, different uh, devices you have linked to your home now, another thing that you could do with this is video chatting. You could use the Google video chat option. And again, that's why it has that frontal camera in the front. 
very clear very nice quality picture again the quality of the screen is um 1280 by 800 so again really good quality it's just a little bit lacking when it, when you put it on the side you get some reflections on it as you guys could see right there so uh, depending on where you position this actual device you might get some glare on it uh, especially if it's a really well lit area um i've seen other ones that don't have that glare but overall if you're watching it pretty much the way i'm doing it right now it's actually is pretty clear overall now i stated before it is you could use this with your phone as as a bluetooth speaker and connect it with your home devices now definitely compatible with philips hue nest chromecast and many other um, services out there right now first some of the commands are very simple to use basically all you have to do is say the following hey google set up the alarm all right when for 12 a.m You got it. Your alarm is set for tomorrow at midnight. There you go. Now, again, you could do a couple other things. For instance, YouTube taking me... Um, hey, Google, take me to YouTube. Sure. Here's YouTube. Hey, Google, show me non-copyrighted music videos. Here you go. And there you go. Now it's showing me all the non-copyrighted music videos that I wanted to see. Now, again... Again, it's, it's, if you never use voice command devices, um, a little bit it takes a little bit to get getting used to. But once you get used to it, it's basically very simple to use. Now, in regards to the sound quality of the device, let's go play something, and uh, I could show you how it sounds. Now again, as you guys could see, I didn't even put it at max volume and basically it had some great, great quality sound. Again, it's, um, if you put it at max, you're definitely going to get, uh, you're going to wake up uh, the people sleeping in your household. Again, very cool, very nice, very sleek design. Sound quality is definitely a JBL product, so you're getting some great, great quality uh, on the actual device. So no need to have an additional speaker to add to this one this one basically does the job so if you want to see your music videos if you want to see um, some Hulu videos here YouTube of course and play your favorite music like within Spotify YouTube music and so many others this could be the device for you now again um, a couple of the drawbacks are as follow no access to Netflix hey my alarm no access to Netflix and again no virtual keyboard that might be a turn off for some people but with the voice command from google itself very simple to use especially if you're going to be having it for instance in your kitchen um, as an alarm in your bedroom or whatever uh, it definitely does uh, it's very easy to use in regards to uh, the voice command itself so again hopefully you guys enjoyed this little demonstration this little video of the link view from jbl Harmon very nice little device it, it is currently selling for a hundred dollars so definitely check that out. i'm gonna link the item in the description this thing used to be like two something when i think almost 300 bucks when uh it came out so again for a hundred dollars you're definitely getting a nice little device especially if you want to incorporate this into your home um with your other devices like nest uh the hue from philips and other uh, devices you might have within there so again look into this if you're looking for some sort of tablet slash uh, speaker hybrid this could be the one for you so again jbl Harman 
link for you hopefully you guys enjoyed this little video hopefully you guys enjoyed this products if you did like comment subscribe again check us out on um, twitter facebook and instagram for more great products great device uh great discount codes and links that we always post there especially twitter so check us out on twitter you, you definitely won't be disappointed we're always posting things there for you guys maybe you find some we'll find something at a really discounted price and it could be something you're looking for all right guys thanks for watching guys just one two three and i'll see you guys on the next video let's get started with the music